Yo, what's poppin'? We've got a little bit of a different one today. I'm sure if you guys are, you know, looking at other games and other MMOs and stuff, you may have seen a lot of the hype around this new, I guess it's an event, um, but it's an update that came to World of Warcraft called Plunderstorm. So that is their 10.2.6 pirate-themed update that they've kind of been waiting on. This has been their kind of different thing, the different approach from the developers where they haven't added this onto the PTS, so there's been no data mining, there's been none of that. This has been just a drop it in your lap kind of event that came out. And I'm sure this is not what anybody expected. So Plunderstorm, as you can see here, it's a limited time battle royale inspired, uh, inspired, inspired event. Opens all WoW subscribers. So what are the requirements before we get into what it is? You have to have a World of Warcraft subscription. You do not have to have the most recent expansion. So it's basically free. For all, it's not free. You have to have a, you have to have a subscription, but it's free for everybody that has that. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to get Dragonflight, which is the most recent expansion. So that's nice. Now the big thing with this is it's very different. It's a you don't bring in your other characters, right? You drop in. There are no add-ons. All of the abilities are completely brand new. You only have about five abilities, similar to what we're used to in the Elder Scrolls Online or new world or something like that you know we have a smaller amount of abilities but you actually pick up the ability so like when you drop into the game just like you would in fortnite or apex or whatever you're not finding guns you're finding abilities and so you can have you know green common abilities blue rare abilities purple epic abilities just like every you know basically rarity system that you can see you can do solos where you would only play with you know, people that are in a solo party, or you can play with duos, and that lobby will only be filled with people that are um, in a two-person party, right? So it's basically the way Battle Royales work, if you don't know, is in this event, you have 60 people that drop into a map, and slowly over time, it's a 15-minute round, the map shrinks, and you have this storm that's kind of ever closing on the map, and it draws everybody in towards the center. And your objective is to be the last person standing. Now, what's the point of this? Why would you play this over playing World of Warcraft? Well, the gold that you see here is called Plunder. And Plunder is essentially your XP, your reputation, your renown, basically, um, for leveling that up. And you can buy special rewards on your character in the main game in retail World of Warcraft at certain renowned reputation levels or certain levels for, you know, as you progress through this, right? I believe the max level is 40. So why are we, why are we talking about this today? We're an Elder Scrolls Online channel, right? It's because World of Warcraft, it's had a very mixed reception, but World of Warcraft has come out with something, Blizzard has come out with something that is not what anybody expected. They're trying something new. They're trying something completely different than what they i think what anybody was even remotely expecting i guarantee you when people were seeing this event on the roadmap i guarantee you people were thinking they were going to go to an island somewhere they were going to interact with a bunch of pirate npcs have some rare mobs that they could farm mounts from and some outfit styles basically transmog for them is what it's called um and that's not what they got and the reason i'm making this video is because not necessarily that I'm saying I want a battle royale in Elder Scrolls Online. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is, is that we need to start trying something that's really different with PvP. PvP has not gotten anything for 10 years. And I know that we have something in quarter four, right? I know that we have something in quarter four. It's not Cyrodiil based. I guess it's Cyrodiil inspired is kind of what they said. But I don't know. They... They got to come up with something new because this is drawing in so many people. Now, what are the downsides of this? Number one, I think it's a missed opportunity that they're tying this to the World of Warcraft subscription. Every battle royale that you look at that is successful is a free-to-play model with skins. So what they could do is say, let's throw this on the Battle.net launcher alone because that's also the other thing. You have to download World of Warcraft and then when you go to your character select screen, at the top, it says, do you want to play retail or do you want to play Plunderstorm? And I'm not talking about on the Battle.net launcher. I'm talking about when you log into World of Warcraft and you have your character select screen at the top, you have to choose Plunderstorm and it's a totally different thing. 
What I would like to see is on their launcher, I'd like to see them bring this directly onto the launcher and have it be free to play so that people can download this and play it during this limited time because this is an event. This is not something currently that is completely permanent, right? Even though they could capitalize on it and make it that way, it is not. And the reason I think it should be free to play with skins is number one, they'll make more money. People like this that have, you know, like Fortnite and Apex, they make so much money from skins and just cosmetics and stuff. Like it's absolutely insane. So number one, they'd make more money for them. So that's a that's a them bonus. But number two, it's gonna bring in people that don't wanna pay the $15 per month subscription. It's gonna allow them to try it. And if they like it enough and they wanna give the Warcraft universe a, a try, then they'll be able to actually move forward, right? And do that, and then they can try it. So it'll help transition people into the game rather than right now, it's really only available to people with a World of Warcraft subscription. And not a lot of people wanna make that jump and commit to a full month of WoW if they're only gonna be playing this, you know? So I think it's a missed opportunity in that aspect. Also with it not being, I know they, they have news all over the battle.net launcher, but with it not being on the launcher itself and you being able to walk in and play it through that, um, I think it's a missed opportunity. But what is what is the most attractive thing about this game? It's an even playing field. You walk in, everybody is the same playing level, right? Because your renown level, your level in this is solely tied to rewards. There's nothing that you get outside of what you get in the game, right? So you drop in, everybody is level zero within that match. You have to run around killing mobs to level up, as well as kill other players to level up, get plunder, which is like your XP, and find spells and make it to the middle. It's super, super cool. I do want to read through this article, and then we'll get out of here. Set sail for the plunder storm. Plunge into a challenging battle that earns excellent rewards for World of Warcraft modern and classic progression realms. All you have to do is survive and plunder. Can't seem to stay in the realm of the living? No problem. Plunderers still gain progression that helps unlock new rewards. Each match is 10 to 15 minutes long and has 60 players per match, with the winner being the last one standing. Level up and acquire new abilities and spells by killing creatures and enemies, looting chests, and avoiding the encroaching storm. A pirate's life for you. The Arathi Highlands is the backdrop for this pirating adventure. That's just one of the zones in WoW. And you'll have plenty of challenges to keep you busy. Plunderstorm is perfect for pickup and play. No expansion purchase is required, but a World of Warcraft subscription or game time is needed to participate in a high stakes play by the seat your <laughs> play by the seat your pants match. This means that classic players can also participate in a plethora of plundering fun by simply installing the modern or live World of Warcraft client. It tells you how to do it. All right, action bar and abilities, worthy mates. Discover lootable spells, abilities, and upgrades as you plunder treasure chests and defeat enemies. Upon picking up, spells and abilities are automatically added to your action bar. So if you've never played World of Warcraft, there are so many abilities. And people complain about this game all the time because if you're not sweating, basically, like basically like just obsessed with playing the game, you're going to feel behind. It's overwhelming. The skill cap, the skill ceiling is astronomically higher than a new player. So if you're a new player and you're wanting to get into PvP, you're gonna get stomped and it feels bad. So one of the things that's so nice about this is everybody's on an even playing field every single game. Now, obviously there's skill and strategy, sure, just like any battle royale, but you're not starting out with all of this gear. You're not starting out with all of this other like outside influence. There's no add-ons, there's no anything, right? Everybody loads in, it's a vanilla UI, and that's it, and it's awesome. And people are having an absolute blast on it. If you go on Twitch right now, that is like quite literally the most watched content on Twitch right now. It's insane. Um, some abilities are more action-based and require good positioning and player targeting. Have fun discovering and experimenting with different combinations to find what works for you. Upgrades to your spells and abilities. Your spells and abilities can be upgraded by discovering higher quality versions from treasure chests or finding the same ability elsewhere and stacking it to rank three or purple, epic, whatever you want to say. There are also plenty of plundering opportunities. Various treasure chests with different rarities that harbor all types of abilities are stashed around the map, 
always stay on the lookout for better loot and upgrades. So then you get a bunch of rewards, you can get a pet, you can get outfit styles, more pets. I mean, there's, there's a ton of stuff. The point of this is this is not normal World of Warcraft. This is completely different. They are going out of their way to try something new because that's what players want. They want new experiences, right? Everybody's been asking for new experiences. And what I'm wanting to say from this is ZeniMax needs to do the same thing. This is turning out to be very successful. And what I want ZeniMax to do is get away from the formulaic approach, add something new. I'm extremely excited to see what we have coming at the end of the year. I'm very anxious about it. I, I really want it to be good. I'm not even a PVP person, right? But I want it to be good because I want to get into PVP. I PVP'd all the time when I first started playing and it just got stale. It hasn't changed since Morwen came out. That's why so many people have left PVP, right? Cyrodiil is amazing, it's unique, it's very dynamic. You can have tons of different experiences in Cyrodiil and make it last a while, but it's just not my cup of tea anymore. It's a little stale, right? So it's just about time for them to change it up. And I get why they haven't, but at the end of the day, this is successful and I want ZeniMax to take some notes. Whenever other MMOs are successful, it breeds competition. And competition is always good for your game because it makes your developers want to try harder to compete with this other game and bring in more players, right? Yeah. If you guys like this, um, I'm going to be leaving a link down in the description below. If you have a World of Warcraft subscription, I recommend trying it out. You probably already know about this. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.